If you lose one of your adult teeth, the bone where the tooth once was can start to deteriorate. This is actually true. Have you ever heard of the term, if you don't use it, you lose it? Well, that's exactly what happens to bone. If you don't have a tooth or a root stimulating that bone, that bone will actually dissolve away. It's why old people look old because all their bones dissolve away and their chin and tongue bug. Let's keep going and see if it's right. To prevent further damage, a dentist will fill the cavity with a synthetic material that mimics real bone. Once filled, a metal bracket is secured on top. Kind of right, kind of not. In fact, we do use that bone, and a lot of times it comes from like pigs or cadaver bone or anything else in between. Kind of funky to think you got a pig in your mouth, but either way, we do that. We do not, however, nail like carpenter nail a steel plate into your jaw. We just kind of let it sit there you can patch it a little bit and let it heal but it does take some time for that bone to connect inwards and then heal but no we do not use the metal plate and the incision is closed after the graft has healed a large implant post is inserted into the new bone that post is actually made of titanium and fun reason we came up with titanium because it's bio inert that means your body will kind of like lock into it with the bone but it's not i mean technically it could reject it sometimes it does happen with force or weird things but it's the one thing that we found that would stay in your mouth that your body wouldn't reject a lot of the time over time then a small metal piece is screwed in and a porcelain tooth is secured on top that's exactly true although there is different types of implant abutments and things like that but yeah first off you put it in there you got to let it heal and then you can go ahead and screw in the little abutment piece and then the crown over the top so it's kind of like this weird sandwich thing some crowns have little screws in the back that you can actually see where we unscrew and unscrew the other ones we can't do that with but that being said yeah this is a pretty good representation of what an implant is like a lot of people freak out because they think it's going to be super painful but actually you're just going to feel a little bit of pressure you shouldn't really feel too much pain although it is said to be similar to putting a carpenter screw into wood which you know, take that with it as you will. But that being said, it's the best option you got without losing that bone.